yeah. Bumped into an old, 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 old friend. Years back. Isn't about her. She was cool and everything, but... Her old man is the thing that, like... I'm not giving any names because dude doesn't like anybody knowing who he is. He's... There. But just the tattoo on his arm... Tells you that people can change. Little hindsight about his family. Grandpa, grandma and grandpa. Like his dad and mom. Raised his pricks you're ever going to meet. I mean these fuckers were evil. Just fucked up. So being raised by that. His first, set, his first t tattoo was a swatika on his arm. Like this dude was had shit bred into his skull as, as, at a young age. As he grew up, he realized certain aspect of himself that thanks to his family, he beat down as much as possible. Like, he went to, he got locked up for, beat, for gay bashing this one guy when he was a kid. So, blah, 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 years later. He has, he's actually told me the story, but people will actually know him, so I'm not giving too many details about the story. But years later... He actually had the courage to come out. This was after him and his parents lost touch. So. He told this, this story because he didn't have the tattoo removed. He put a pride flag over it. With right up, right underneath it saying, this is what real pride is. Now, if that doesn't tell you people can change, going from the most hate-filled, hate evil motherfucker there is, to, be, to being himself at every uh, Pride Week that I was with him at, I mean, dude was cool. But I asked him one day why he didn't just get the Satika removed. And he said, If you got something that you're not proud of, you don't remove it, you move past it. So by putting the pride flag on top of and above the Satika, it was proving that he's moved past. He he's he's above that now. He told the story better, but bumping into her just took, just reminded me of him. I mean, she was cool too. She was for some reason. She, she was complete candy kid though, and still is. Like I I talked to her for a few minutes, but she hasn't changed. Still. Fucked up colored hair that she probably still changes every other week. For the, for masks, she she had this weird weird little alien rainbow thing. It was sweet, but it was totally her. But yeah, that doesn't t uh, teach you that nature doesn't mean shit. That genetics don't mean anything. And that you can move past nurture too. Nothing does. I mean the older generation of that family. Are complete evil pricks. Her dad and her. Are the most nice. Friendly. Kind of crazy. People you're ever going to meet. And I mean crazy in the best ways. They're a blast.